Hello YouTube. As promised, I will start taking a look at the Quran as a text and will analyze it to focus on the meaning as propagated by the religious book. Don't worry, I'll start off very easy. The Quran has many scientific flaws as well as ethical, grammatical, temporal and logical errors. But still, mullahs, muftis, imams and even Muslims educated in Western countries claim that the Quran is the infallible and immutable word of not only some God, but the God of the gods, the one and only God. In the past, I have shown how the combo bouquets in Dani started the science craze, followed hot on their heels by Moore and then parroted by Naik, Yahya and others who further added, twisted or left out words in the Quran to suit their purposes. Muslims have been unable to refute any fact-based rebuttals and thus resort to obfuscation tactics, even changing the commonly accepted versions or simply blaming the translation efforts. The Quran itself does or does not allow this. As it says in 3.7, He it is who has sent down to thee the book. In it are verses, basic or fundamental, of established meaning. They are the foundation of this book. Others are allegorical. But those in whose hearts is perversity follow the part thereof that is allegorical, seeking discord and searching for its hidden meanings, but no one knows its hidden meanings except Allah. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say, We believe in the book, the whole of it is from our Lord, and none will grasp the meaning except men of understanding. So, does the Quran contain basic as well as allegorical verses? Yes, but you're not allowed to look at them, even if they are not marked as allegorical. Yet the Quran also states in total contradiction that by the book that makes things clear, we have made it a Quran in Arabic, that he may be able to understand and learn wisdom. And this was in 43.3 and just one line down, and verily, it is the mother of the book in our presence, high in dignity, full of wisdom. Nothing allegorical here. The Quran is intended for all mankind and nations and not just Arabs. Why many Muslims maintain that the Quran should only be read in Arabic is not clear to me, as it only says that it was revealed by someone from amongst the people and in Arabic so that Arabic speaking people could understand it. That this perfect book should only be perfect in Arabic would mean that Allah spoke only one language, Arabic. But in any case, it should still be easy to understand and clear for Arabs. As is stated in 4458, Verily we have made this Quran easy in thy tongue, in order that they may give heed. In 54 we have 17, 22, 32 and 40, all hammering home the same identical thing. We have, indeed, made the Quran easy to understand and remember. 7519, then it is undertaken by us to explain it. Mm -hmm. 6114, he it is who hath sent unto you the book explained in detail. 1689, we have sent down to thee the book explaining all things. 41.3, a book whereof the verses are explained in detail. And finally in 42.13, he decreed for you the same religion decreed for Noah and what was inspired to you and what we decreed for Abraham, Moses and Jesus, you shall uphold this one religion and do not divide it. So Islam is a system with a religion which claims it provides salvation to its believers through the Quran. The Quran itself claims it is Mubin, meaning clear, plain, perspicuous, distinct, eloquent, manifest, distinguished and distinguishing. Searching the book for Mubin comes up with 38 hits where not all verses are relating to the clear book, but there are quite a few, all claiming that the Quran is incredibly clear and eloquent. So what I have established so far is that the Quran itself claims it is clear, easy to understand, for everyone, for all times, to be taken literally, and that everything is explained in detail. After this lengthy and detailed introduction, my questions are actually quite short. One. What are the 29 single letter verses doing in the Quran which Allah apparently forgot to explain in his book and thus have no meaning for humans? 2. Does the verse ayah count of over 6000 include these? Does this affect the claim that the Quran is inerrant in any way? And 4. Do these letters actually help a believer to gain salvation? Can a book with nonsensical verses intended for humans be a perfect book, created by a perfect God? Or 
does it show that this book is made up and written by humans who simply left their signature in the form of initials? I'm looking forward to your ideas, but please don't make everybody laugh by suggesting these are part of a numerical miracle. Thank you for your time.